what is good everybody welcome back to another youtube video leave a like on this video subscribe if you are new and we have a new raid over here it's a light raid so if you have the light version you can do this raid right here i believe it's the uh super baby raid uh or something like that i believe yeah no yeah super baby uh super baby raid you can get a couple things from that <laughs> As well as some artwork and all that good stuff and yada 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 that's just the new raid and stuff like that here are the some of the rewards i i don't think i got too much i got like i got the like the minimum like 3500 or whatever um rewards and so let's see what rewards you actually get from the first week all right so we got star coins let's go star coins finally we can actually use these we can actually finally use these <clears throat> to see what they even get get us in the actual like uh festival shop or whatever and then we have i rather fight alone and die and super mixed capsule z's those are very 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 valuable in this game so definitely going to be accepting those gifts i hope you guys have been doing good with the uh glory points and all that good stuff appreciate all the loves on the uh other glory point video this is week two everybody week one has finished up i played the first like three days i didn't get to play the entire week um but i am going to try to get to play this week um, and we have the cross versus now is gonna be the game to play to boost those uh, Points, so let's go ahead and get into that. So we have the view universe team Everybody gets the boost as well and um uh, universe 7 has won the last week by the way represent We have cross versus you get an extra 10 glory points and cross versus if you do this now I did this and I actually got like more than that i did uh when you did the parallel quest you get like up to like 600 something i believe i want to say it's a big boost um and so with this week's but like i said yeah so cross versus is going to be the game to beat it is a it's a it's a weird one it's a weird game i'm gonna uh actually briefly give you guys an explanation of um what this game is so yeah, I'm just gonna be reading you guys the rules because again, like everybody doesn't really know like what this really is, and this is just a basic way to give you guys what it is. So a new versus mode where two teams compete against each other or against one another. The first team to reach the requisite number of mission points or defeat the boss is crowned the winner. All players that start the match at level one, and there are a variety of ways to earn points and win. So basically, you start the match is like fair point everybody gets fair game you know all your levels and stuff don't really uh matter here you start from level one you have to bulk up and level up in different ways you can defeat enemy npcs you can complete missions obtaining items um earn the required number before the other team to win once you've reached the half the required points the gate to your boss's area will open defeat that boss and you can win the match without reaching the required number of mission points the enemy team also has their own mission area and boss area. You cannot enter the team's mission area, but you can, or one member member actually can go into their the enemy boss area. Uh, this applies to the, the enemy team and your boss area too. Defeat an opposing player to steal some of their mission points. Obtaining mission points will increase your player player level. Everyone starts the mission the match at level one. But that level can be increased up to level seven. Your stats will be boosted with each level increase. Even if you are taken out by an enemy fighter and lose mission points, your player level will not decrease. In cross versus, you won't have access to your ultimate attacks, but will instead be able to acquire ultimate attacks that appear in mission area. Note that acquiring their attacks will not earn you mission points. The following player settings are not applied while pl while playing cross versus player level, ultimate attacks, attribute boosts, equipable items boosts, super souls, and QQ bank. So, every, like I said, everything is bare bones. So it's basically like a like a it's it's a again it's still confusing sometimes, but like once you get into it, it's a cohesive game that you play. Again, I don't really play it much, but I did go into a couple of games, and I believe I did get. Um, uh, I got. I got. I want to check the number on that. I hope I'm right on that. It was a lot. It was a lot of glory points. So make sure you guys doing that to rack up glory points this um, this this uh, week. Um, the best way I would say is go ahead and find the items. Go ahead and do all the little uh, NPC stuff. Let whoever wants to fight fight, 
and um try to get into that mission boss area to uh to the to the enemy ones and try to see if you can defeat their boss and like just basically don't try to go for the required number of points try to get it early try to see if you can get it early by defeating the boss all the good stuff and um trying to get ahead of the game in the cross versus it's a very uh I would say time based type thing too, but you gotta move kind of quick because the other team can actually get uh, get there faster. You don't know how, how fast they're working or if they're being cohesive. So, with that being said, that was how to level up this week for uh, glory points and all that good stuff. Now we're actually gonna go to the actual shop and the tournament shop and see what they have Greetings. for us to offer. So, the star coin shop, how many star coins do I actually have? We have clothing all right so i have 550 star coins and so these are the clothing and stuff that you can get i believe i'm not sure if you can change this their color but they look like these are like festival of the universe um versions of these clothing clothings and it's not much I, I assume they're gonna add more but yeah it's not much um it's really not anything if, if being honest uh then we have the two auras but the, i don't have enough for that unfortunately then we have the TP Metal Shop. I think these don't really change or uh, or anything like that. We have Journey to the West and all that good stuff. Not bad. Not not too bad of uh, picks. Too bad of picks. <laughs> um. So yeah, it, these are actually pretty pretty. I they have a lot of this, don't I? Yeah, and then we have the mascots. Yeah, so it's no nothing really new. The STP Metal Shop now again. If you did the raid. You get some of this. I actually use it already, but if you did the raid, you get these as well. It's just another form of currency, but yeah, the coin shop doesn't really have that much in it. So I, I would I would recommend for me, I would say you save your coins for the coin shop. Don't uh, go trying to um, spend too much on it because yeah, that's 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 not it right now. Um, and as you can see, I'm, I'm almost done with the camaraderie with Goku. This is going to be my first one. I don't really... I do not be doing the camaraderies when I do these things. So, that is all I have for you guys for today's or this week's um, update for the Festival of the Universes. Universe 7 came out on top. We have cross versus for your boosts and the best way to get glory points this week. And then we have the Festival of Universes rewards, all that good stuff. And, um,. The future schedule is underway as well. Appreciate you guys for watching. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you are new. We'll get on some more Xenoverse 2 content. Peace.